100 is stuck on light. We are going to use this circuit. And now building it is a little bit complicated. And at the top of the circuit, you have to stack several parts on top of each other. And that's what the instructions remind you of. But we will turn on the slide switch. And we are using the white LED, but the white LED does not turn on. Now when we hit the press switch, the white LED comes on. Once we, when we hit the press switch again, nothing else happens. The white LED remains on, and the only way to turn it off is to turn off the slide switch. Now once you turn the slide switch back on, the white LED will not turn on until you hit the press switch again. The reason why the circuit acts this way is because the two transistors, the MPN and MPN transistors, act like an electronic device called a silicon controlled rectifier or SCR. It's a three pin device that once its control pin is triggered, it will remain on until the flow of current is cut off, just like that. 101 is called stuck on lights. This project is similar to the previous one, except we removed the R1 resistor and replaced it with the red LED. You can use the color LED if you want to, but I'm going to use the red one. Same principle, turn on the slide switch, nothing happens push the button, and both LEDs come on. Push the S2 switch again, and they do not turn off. You have to turn off the slide switch in order for that to happen. Turn it back on, nothing happens, and let there be light. Project 102 is white blinker. Like the previous project, this circuit has some um, parts stacked on top of each other and so please refer to the diagram carefully if you are building it. It has a similar principle to the previous two projects as well and we will turn on the slide switch. Nothing happens but once we hit the press switch the motor spins and the fan rotates. Hitting the press switch again does nothing to stop the fan. Turning off the slide switch does and the motor will come to a stop. Turn the slide switch back on, nothing happens. Hit the press switch and the fan starts up again. One oh three is stuck on lights. We're going to use the same circuit as in the previous project, but we will replace the fan motor with the LED, the red LED. Turn on the slide switch, nothing happens. Hit the press switch, red LED comes on. Hit the press switch again, red LED stays on. Turn off slide switch, and red LED turns off. Repeat it again. The reason why this circuit is called low voltage stuck on lights is because, as you may have guessed, we're using just one set of batteries, not two. So the voltage going through this circuit is lower than in many other circuits in this kit. Project 104 is stuck on motor and lights. We're going to use the same circuit as in Project 102, but we connected the red LED below the fan and making sure the positive side is on the left. We will then con connect the LED using the red and black jumper wires and make sure that they do not come into contact with the motor or the fan. And so we will turn on the slide switch. Nothing happens. Push the press switch, which I just did, and the motor spins quickly. Hitting the press switch, again, will not turn the fan and LED off. But turning off the slide switch will. We'll do it one more time with the fan on the motor.
and turn it off. Now we're going to do it once with the without the fan on the motor. The motor spins, and I don't know if you notice a difference, but supposedly the red LED is brighter when the fan is when the motor is spinning without the fan on top because it takes less energy for the motor to spin without the fan and therefore more energy can go to the red LED. And so that's why it might be brighter in this project than in the previous one. Project 105 is funky light and sound. We are going to turn on the slide switch and now we get some weird sounds as the LEDs flash and the color LED changes colors. <laughs> Think those sounds are funny? The color LED is controlling the strobe integrated circuit as well as the white LED so you're going to hear unusual sound effects. Project 106, Light and Sound, uses the same circuit as the previous project, but we will replace the color LED with either the R3 resistor or the R5 resistor. We're going to use both resistors starting with R3. Turn on the slide switch and the speaker produces a buzzing sound while the white LED lights up. They not need, the white LED does not blink and the speaker produces just a steady sound like that of a bee or some other bug. That's because we don't have the color LED to control the strobe integrated circuit anymore. Now we're going to switch the R3 resistor. When we put the R5 resistor in place, the white LED flashes rapidly and the speaker makes a fast clicking noise. And, you, and it may sound like many things. Like maybe like a type of engine. Project 107 requires us to repeat projects 105 and 106, but we will replace the speaker with the motor. Make sure that the positive side of the motor faces the slide switch and put the glow fan on the motor too. Being careful not to touch the fan, we're going to turn on the slide switch. And now look what happens. The color LED is controlling the strobe integrated circuit again. And it's there for controlling the rest of the circuit. The white LED flashes and also the motor is rapidly turning on and off. Even though if you don't hear it, you might not notice it. You might not realize that it's rapidly changing speeds. That's because the color LED is controlling the current, or the strobe integrated circuit is controlling the current through the rest of the circuit. Now we will replace the color LED. Actually, we don't need to turn this off. We will replace the color LED with first the R3 resistor, and just the motor spins at a steady speed while the white LED stays on. And then we will do the R5 resistor. And look at that. The white LED flashes. It's barely visible, but you may still notice it. And then the motor is like kind of jumpy, I would say. It's rapidly turning on and off. And that's why it is not fast at all. 108 is adjustable light and sound. We modified the, prod, the preceding circuit by adding the adjustable resistor, two double snap wires to hold in place, and a three snap wire connecting to the strobe integrated circuit here in the center. We will turn on the slide switch, and now the LED may flash, and the speaker will make a weird noise. 
Now we can adjust the lever on the RV to control the rate at which the strobe, the LED flashes in the speaker clicks. Now it's at the lowest setting. It may be hard to notice with the camera, but the LED is flashing at its lowest rate available on the circuit. Now we will slowly move the adjustable resistor up. Now the LED, now the strobe integrated circuit is at its highest setting and the speaker is very high pitched. The sound is high pitched. But you may, no, now you notice that the white LED is off. On some settings it's not going to come on. So that's why. But this is like the highest setting in which the LED is actually on and it is at its highest setting so it appears to be on continuously. I'm going to slowly move the adjustable resistor down. And the sound may remind you of like an engine starting up. Like a race car or motorcycle engine. For project 109, we will use the same circuit as in 108, but replace the speaker with the motor here. And the positive side will face away from us. We will now turn on the slide switch. Be careful not to touch the fan. And look at the uh, how the uh, fan and LED behave now. This effect is probably best in a dimly lit area, so I'm going to carefully move the circuit into the shade here where it's darker and you can you might be able to see the LED a little bit better. The camera may not pick it up as well, but I'm going to slowly move the adjustable resistor lever. Now at its high at the at RV's highest setting, the white LED is on steadily and the fan is spinning at at a fast speed. I will slowly move the adjustable resistor back down and now the motor will slow down as the LED starts to blink more slowly. And that's it.